just chatting stream while I'm just going to start reading the textbook for one of my classes. And yeah, so today was my first day of college and I really like the place. It's it's really nice. Um, I joined a, a college nearby, so I'm not staying at the dorm, but I, I do have in-person classes and it. The building's really nice. Um, the staff has been ex just especially really helpful and really nice to meet and talk to. Um, well, my classes seem good. I have a lot of breaks in between, very small breaks in the afternoon, but in the morning I have an hour and a 30 minute break. So yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty good. I think I'll do it. I hope I... I hope I'm able to improve on myself as a student and also enjoy college, so, um, and just, um, really get the college experience really good. So anyways, I'm gonna start studying here. I will play some background music. Uh, let's just check something first. I think I'm live, am I? I am live. Okay, so I just wanted to check that first. I will be playing some background music. So yeah, if you just want to chat, I'll, I'll still read. I'll glance up, but yeah, so that's going to be the stream tonight. So thank you everyone for joining. Let me actually lower the camera. Let me actually lower it and move it a tiny bit like that. Okay. It's on a music stand. I do not have any fancy equipment here. I've always been using a music stand, and right now I'm using this little phone clip stand. So yeah. <laughs> Very, 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 very low budget. It's basically that. Hi, Chrome Nelson. How are you? Oh my gosh. I think I might need to get a hoodie because it's getting really cold. It's getting cold. I do have a fan on high, but. All right. There's going to be some music in the background, and I'm going to start reading the textbook. Taking notes. I have to take notes, and they're due Thursday, so I better get started. I'm looking that way when I'm speaking. I'm actually looking directly to the phone. It's just the camera is on this side and my phone is kind of long. So I think if I turn it like this, all of a sudden I'll be um, staring right at the camera. Yeah, it's it's not really a face reveal. I mean, um, I've shown my face on the stream before, but this is just the first like actual just chatting with, with me doing something. That isn't Pokemon or a reaction video or anything like that. So yeah, I guess so. Ta-da! Anyway, I'm going to start reading. I don't have to get through all of it tonight, but it is due Thursday, so... Oh, and I don't have any classes tomorrow either. Oh, you have homework in math. What math are you in? <laughs> yeah, I need to go put on a hoodie if you must. Uh, I don't want to turn off the fan because I like, I like it cold in my room, so I'm able to... Um, wear sweatshirts and hoodies and I have these um, Kigurumis, you know, like the um, Animal costume pajamas. I, I like those. I wear I worn my um, Sloth one and it was kind of cooler on the weekend. I, I like those. <laughs> I think they're cozy um, So yeah, I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna start doing the textbook now maybe for like an hour or so Anywho, let me see what section I'm supposed to be reading even I think chapter 22. I can't remember for sure. Let's see. I have a syllabus quiz. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Thank you for joining. Let me lower this because it's weird dimensional or whatever. It's called the dimensions of the video are going to get messed up. If I don't, it's stretching my face. I actually have like a really thin face, but it's like making it wide. So, anyway, Sammy, how are you? Oh, geometry. That's geometry is interesting, but you actually don't use it that much later on. Um, like after geometry, at my school district, they did algebra two, and then pre-calc, and then calculus. There's not another place where you use geometry. I don't think other than. You touch on it a little bit in algebra and a little bit in calculus, but it's it's just a class. Just make sure you're focused in it. 
Um, it does get confusing with all the theorems, and yes, I've been there, I writing all those out and stuff like that, but you'll get through it. No, oh, I'll have 30 minutes to answer your questions. How many questions were there? Uh, no, I'm just going to start on the book reading. I don't know when that syllabus quiz is due, but... Trinomials. Trinomials are... Oh. Yeah, some of those higher binomials, trinomials... When you're... When I'm factoring a trinomial, I still have some trouble doing it I, I i took calculus so it's 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 just something you you'll get better at over time mm -hmm. it's due 29th when's the 29th it's not until a while i don't think oh where's the module where is it supposed to be let me go to the calendar i think i know what book is here oh let's see bio is red uh, chapter 22. <laughs> and then, and then, I think, yeah, that's right. Chapter 22, okay. The Pythagorean Theorem. <laughs> oh. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Actually, in calculus, You'll do something. If you go into calculus in high school or college, we'll do something with the Pythagorean theorem. Actually, I'll show you what it will look like. Let me just, um, so in calculus, you'll do these things called derivatives. So you know slope, right? Well, a derivative is basically this. It's like the slope, but it's the slope at an exact point, and then it, it involves change. It's a rate of change, right? So you know... Um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? Well, in calculus, you'll do this thing called derivative. So that's basically finding the slope of a function or the rate of change um, at each point where an interval. But anyways, a derivative, um, you'll get into this. I uh, Hopefully, sorry if I confuse you, but just don't have to worry about it until you're in actual calculus. But... Um, you'll be taking a derivative of this, and you'll get something like, let me remember it, it's like 2a, a prime, plus uh, 2b, b prime, equals c, 2c, c prime. And those a primes, b primes, and c prime, that's just the change of that over time. Let me lower this, the music is kind of loud. So, how they do uh, Pythagorean and calculus is, so, let's say you have the ground here, you have a wall, and there would be a ladder like this, and on the problems I've seen, you'll have a change in Y, which is the ladder sliding down, and you have a change in X, and C will remain constant. Because that, I, oh wait, will that change? No, because the ladder is the same. It will be like 12 inches or whatever. And then this is changing by a value, and then it would be like, oh, it's sliding. It's sliding, the bottom of the ladder is sliding at a rate of 2 meters per second. And what is the change in the y, so y prime, at... The point when the ladder is, let's say, 10 feet tall. 10 meters. I'm sorry about that. I got my my units messed up. 10 meters tall. So we would just substitute with what it is. So this is our change in x. That could be our um, 1 over a squared plus b squared. So let's just say it's 2. Our x... We didn't make an x, so that would be something that we'd use the Pythagorean theorem for, because first we would use the regular, the 10 meters, 12, so then we would do the 12 squared minus 10 squared equals b squared. But once we do that, we do the derivative to find how, mu how much is the y changing, or our b 
delta b. So, anyways, that's just in calculus. So, you mastered the Pythagorean theorem earlier. That part, you're gonna go, oh, I recognize this part from my earlier math class, and that makes it more interesting and more fun to do. So, sorry if that confused you. Anyway, I'll go back to my um, class, my textbook here, and I'll put back the music. Thank you, yeah. You'll learn more about it if you take calculus. Let me just erase it because this is my note page. I'm gonna throw, it, I'm gonna throw the erasers away. I think I'm starting to get a cold. Need to probably put on a long sleeve or something, I don't know. Yes, it is very interesting. That's, I took the calculus class, and it, it's, it's actually pretty interesting when you're starting to apply it. It's just, it gets confusing if you have so many things you're thinking about. I think that's for any class, though. <laughs> Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. Oh, um, I took calculus so I could use the college credit it was offering dual credit through the AP exam, and then that was an AP course, so then I wouldn't have to take the class in college. So yeah, it just saves money. Five chapters to read. Oh wow, that's a lot. Don't worry, you'll get through it. Oh sorry, I am getting a bit of a cold because of the fan. <laughs> Maybe I'll just turn off the fan, yeah. That's all I'll do. I'm just gonna turn off the fan. They're taking honors? That's a great, that's a good class. Should I do, when I'm like just reading the textbook or nothing that crazy like that, I'm thinking of just like streaming, talking about it and writing stuff down also. Oh, I thought I already signed in. I already signed into this. Come on. I thought I already signed in. Huh? To do this all again. I have to re-sign in to everything. Because this computer doesn't recognize me. Oh, I can't even copy it in. I do remember doing this. I, maybe I'm logging in twice, I don't know. I think that's why I couldn't sign in earlier. I didn't agree to the terms of use. How do they not match? Are you kidding me? Um, and I take an AP class next semester, and I'm only a freshman, I took algebra and English one in middle school. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, the AP classes are the way to go if you can handle it. Do not stress yourself out by putting, like, uh, five or four AP classes if, um, it's going to really, it, it's a very, um, what's that now? How do I say this? It, it's a, a very dedicated um, class. Any of the AP classes are very dedicated. Um, you need you you have to be willing to put in time and more effort than a regular class. Um, if you could take one or two, and that's all right. Just take as many as them as you can personally um, take. Because if you just put like four or five AP classes down, you don't, and it turns out you can't handle the stress or it's too much of a pileup. 
then it's more it's going it's going to be more tough on yourself both trying to get the good grade in class and getting the um exam at a good score um so if it's only take the amount of ap classes that you are comfortable taking with with the workload and all that the dedication the effort and the increased time that is needed for that class if you have all of that like sorted out and then you've decided okay what's the factors the pros and the cons and can i handle this and stuff then you could start putting the ap classes on your um plate but they're always an option there it's not like it's only for the uh people who get straight a's and stuff and we could take the ap class and it just takes a lot of um effort and um an interest in the class as well but i think anyone could handle them ap human geography oh i've never heard of that that class i've heard about ap world but i don't think that's it um do you put the measure where to place the ladder um on that example that was just a quick so that was just like calculus so um you'll probably if you if you're not going on a math route and or if you're not yeah, if you're not pursuing a math career, you're probably not going to see that much calculus except for maybe one class. And that's like really down the road. Um, unless you're like taking it next year or anything like that. Of course, it would be uh, sooner. But calculus is, um, it's like after algebra. And so that example, what you're looking at is the the variables like the letters or the ladder your the ladder was like the diagram or the problem you're solving you're trying to find the change in the coordinate values over time and so it's basically um the derivative is like the slope basically it's it's another way of saying change over time it, calculus is like the math of change or fluidity or um stuff like that because it's always changing there's um position and then it becomes velocity and it becomes acceleration those are all changes over time and so yeah with calculus you're able to do stuff like that you're taking these functions and then um making them into derivatives or integrals that show relationships of change and stuff like that areas you could do that with calculus and stuff so please do not get confused about calculus i took it um it's very it's it's a really talent uh challenging course it's it it'll be it's very interesting and it's also going to be probably one of the most stressful classes you ever taken um but yeah it just focus on the now and do well in your classes which i do have um i really do believe that you will so yeah <laughs> don't worry you'll do good in your classes you'll you'll succeed if you will i really do believe in you Please match. I could get into my textbook. Please. I'm gonna turn on the fan on now. It's getting too hot. H E L A cells? No, I do not. Sorry. I could look it up. Is something with okay, so this is from Wikipedia. Immortal cell line used in scientific research. Is that what those are? Okay, I'm going to go back to my textbook. Confirm. Put on the fan because it's starting to get too hot.
They're used to test the effects of radiation, cosmetics, toxins, and other chemicals on human cells. Immortalized cell line. They're cancerous. Oh, it looks like there's some legal value battles that are in that. Okay, so smart book. Smart book reading uh, chapter 22 is where we're gonna start. I'm not gonna. I want to do the regular one. No, it's not. Let's learn more about. So, this is evolution. This is actually like the second time I've studied evolution for a biology class because um, last year I took AP Bio virtually, so. It's the second time. Oh, that's yeah. I saw that on Wikipedia when I was pulling up the article. The um, Miss Harrietta Harrietta Lacks, I think, is the lady. Okay, an introduction to evolution. Gen to Gen. Macro is new species. So I'm just going to take um, snippets of what's actually put in the text. Therefore, the notes aren't long because usually I have this problem where <laughs> I take too much notes and then my paper is all crazy and then there's like 10 sheets of notes for one chapter and stuff like that so um, I'm just gonna keep it really concise this time definition of species it's important is all the members of that species. Okay, so I'm just gonna all mem of sp. Uh, skin, skin, molecular evolution. Um, genes or protein. Looks like that's all I have to up there. I'll go next. So, Evo. So I'm going to just add this back here. Um, Evo. Oops. Forgot the V. Evo influence by religion. Um, I have a classmate, uh, classmate named Sophie. I wonder how she's doing. Uh, empirical thought. That's science. Again, John Ray. We, we did already study this, I think. Yeah, Lamar. Kind of. Yeah. This is... I already covered this. I might be in the wrong class by accident. Because it went Ray. Ray to Linnaeus. Ray is. Mm. Uh, 
speed. And that's the genus and species. I already did this. I wonder if I... Maybe I didn't get the college credit or something. Or didn't count for this. I do not know. Let's see. Um, this is bio 151. I need to check this because this might actually, I might need to drop this class, I do not know. Bio 150, but it had both evolution and that's interesting. Hmm. I guess it, it should, but this is the same kind of stuff we did in um, bi AP Bio. We did evolution and name all these guys here, the famous naturalists and stuff. Uh, okay, so now Buffon. Okay, so, uh, some change to, I remember Lamarck, he said that at that moment they changed to like a dragon stretch its neck, but that's wrong. Okay, I just have to remember. Yeah, that's not it. Erasmus. Erasmus Darwin. Okay, so... Um... Okay, so now Darwin. Oh, we have to do curvier, I forgot. Okay, so now Darwin, Charles. Charles was of Evo Nat Selection. Okay, I think that's all I have to write for him. Everyone knows about Charles Darwin, so. Oh, hi Star Blizzard, how are you? Hi Steve, how are you? How's your day at school? Uh, let's see, it's about geology. Uh, Javier. Test. Um, major changes. Uh, let's see. Scarce. Major. Changes, and then the next dude I remember I don't Lyell. That's the dude. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, and his is uniformitarianism, and it's like a small and multiple changes. Okay, over time. Malthus was not an biologist, he was eco carrying capacity. So that's like a one factor. That's like a drive that's driving the evolution. Beagle. Darwin Beagle, that's a ship. Uh, voyage, uh, go up. Ghost, isolation, new. Okay. The 
finches. We covered a lot of this in AP Bio already. Mission Beaks. Was that John Gold? I remember him too. I used to be obsessed with birds when I was younger and I, I knew about John Gold. Um, they wanted different war food. The music up. This is kind of a quieter song. Food, pools. Print, fitness. Okay. Okay, so now it's just a table of all the different finches. I've seen this table a bunch of times. Okay, Russell Wallace. So Wallace, I should actually add that to a smaller bullet point. Not really talking about Alfred Russell Wallace, but um, he did have a theory on evolution at the same time as Darwin. Darwin knew about that, so he published his first. Alfred Russell Wallace liked writing about the Malay Archipelago. That's actually the title of his book. It's the Malay Archipelago with the Orang Utan, the Bird of Paradise. And it was about um, the different biodiversity on the islands. So it was like near New Guinea and Borneo and all those places in Indonesia. Um, yeah, Darwin's is the origin of the species. Okay. Um, incomplete, but did have almost Ancestor and um, nat. it's basically net selection. <sighs> Sent in modification factors. Factors change. Okay, I'm just gonna put change over T because I don't have any room for time. I got no time. There we go. Okay, so it's like overproduction of offspring. Uh, so stuff like over offspring and mutation uh, then better equipped by pass down and then there's a parent to offspring that's kind of self-explanatory uh, this is basically net selection so uh, i already wrote net selection up there so it should be okay most of the evolution stuff i remember Yep, the mutation, random mutation at antibiotics.
Bye, Sammy. Bye, Chrome. Thank you so much. Galapagos Islands. Okay, it's a beak wing. What happens if there's natural causes and if there's a thing and the seeds are different? It's gonna go to the um, finches that have the better beaks for that specific seeds. For those specific seeds, sorry about the hands dozing off. Evidence. Okay, fossil. Okay, I kind of remember this section when we were doing AP Biology. Evidence. Fossils. Fossils and molecular record. Okay. And we also have Biogeo. Isolation. So that's evolution. Okay, so this is artificial selection, so like farming for breeding fancy dogs or koi fish, that's what that is, yeah, I remember that from AP Bio. Oh, it's okay, Sam. You'll you'll surely get better if you just practice and look up uh, notes and tutorials as well for extra study. You'll you'll get better at math. It was, I was like that as well. I still need help with math. If you just keep reading and looking at notes and stuff like that, you'll you'll be able to do math. Blank and sequence. Okay, so fossil record.
Okay, so I remember this. So transition fossils. So that Evo Bridge. Fish to Zero. Or whatever, amphibian. That shows like it's like the missing link, basically. Know about that. Whales came from um, land living animals. Four water. Okay. Biogeography. Extinct and living uh, islands. So, ocean isolation. So, endemic. So, only here. Endemic. They're only found here. So isolate by natural factors. I'm going to actually make island. Dwarfism. Large common island. I'm just gonna abbreviate it. Shrink. Virgins. Very pro. Because of limits. Okay. Australia. Land, G, large man, mans, large mans. Okay, so placental and mammals somewhere. Prevents no. from coming. Okay. Urgent. Same factor. Species. Same adaption. Adaptation, I'm sorry. Um, habitat, I should say habitat. Yeah, habitat is better than factor. Pronounce that's what knuckles is. 
Echidna? I know that's what Knuckles is. I can't pronounce it. Echidna? Echidna? That's just different. Fresh water is something the fishes. And now I guess traits or convergent traits are independent. Similar in that one. Okay, so it's the wings of the bat and the butterfly. Hello, Jolly. How are you? Thank you so much for joining. Um, it's going good so far. I'm just reading one of the textbooks from my classes and. I am not staying at a dorm. I drive myself home into the college on a day of classes. I do have two virtual ones though, so. But those are just like freshman classes. So yeah, that's that's the deal with the college stuff, so it's going good. Thank you for asking. Reading, modify, mod, domestic. So this is like pigeons. rephrase that because I want to say parents are actually chosen by a breeder, not by nature. Nature, nature. I have to abbreviate. Parents are nature, okay. So this is the areas. So seen in dogs, corn, pigeons. Interbreeding. And pigeons, it's just uh, choosing the best, choosing best slash desired. And crossing. Okay. So right there. This is literally what we did in uh, um, AP Bio. But 
what's strange is the credit for AP Bio is for Bio 1 only. It should be for General Bio 2, I think, as well, because Gen Bio 2 is basically half of the sim half of the stuff we did in the year, because it's split in a, it's a semester class, so they split it off, and I don't know what they're doing. Copy these. We did these topics already, and, um... What's that now? AP Bio, and it was it was like the first. It's the second, second to the first unit because the teacher wanted to do evolution before we got into all the molecular processes. What classes am I taking? Uh, thank you so much. First of all, um, taking general chem. Oh wait, no, not general chem. I dropped that class. I already had uh, dual credit for it. Um, I am taking organic chem. Organic Chem 1, Gen Bio 2 with the lab, General Physics 1 with the lab, and two college classes that all freshmen, or not all freshmen, but all first-timers have to take. So, yep, those are my classes. I'll be back in a little bit. I'll put the music in the background so it's just not silence, but I'm going to go and use the restroom. I'll be back, though. I think I'm almost done with the chapter, too. I'll be back.
them back. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the reason why. Because the AP credit is bio one, it's general bio one. But um my AP class we covered these general they dropped they dropped the unit I remember in AP bio they dropped the unit on evolution during the 2019-2020 school year and then the school year and then 2020 to 2021 they dropped the virus and pathogen and I think they also dropped animal and plant anatomy I don't know because I think that's more like a special that's like more um, botany and zoology kind of stuff so yeah I think you're I think you're correct with that uh -oh. Sister. Uh, different, different AR, different arrangement. <laughs> For different functions. So structure again, function. Vestigial. 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 Oh, I, I pronounced that this whole time. Um, remember I was talking about biology. I kept saying vestigial, but it's vestigial. There's, a, there's another I. Anywho, let's change the playlist to something else. Hmm. Let's see here. Didn't realize it finished. Oh, there's some concert band music. Let's see what else is there. Oh, hmm. Music. Hmm. I'll just play Pokemon music, maybe. Uh, let's put some... Where's the jazz? I know there's a jazz, Pokemon jazz collection or something. That's just Diamond and Pearl. Mm, there, there, is a, there is a new Diamond and Pearl anime coming out. Let's, let's do that. Ever wondered about search? Like how autocomplete works? Or why you uh -huh. see the ads you do? Or want to know how we protect against spam, Emerald Nice or how real people Ooh, make that sounds better. fun. Um, my favorite Pokemon for a while works. was Chandelure and um, Kafagrigus from Gen 5. Earlier than that, it was Miss Magius and I think that was. <laughs> I really like ghost types, if you, if you could tell. Uh, I don't have a ghost type Pokemon thing, I have a Squirtle and a Pikachu. Um. I have a lot of favorite Pokemon. I can't, I can't pick one. I can never imagine doing a Nuzlocke. I think I'd lose in like um, the first first ten minutes. I think I'd lose already. Good luck on your Nuzlocke, though. Okay, so fingernails and manatees, that's something interesting. I'm gonna put that. Fingernails on manatees, that's one of these structures that 
apparently they have, but they don't have it anymore. They don't have a function on them. That's interesting. I remember. I have never heard of fingernails on the manatees. I know about humans with tails, and I'm not talking about um, like cosplay or anything. I mean, like humans actually did have a bony tail and the embryo muscles, and they could wiggle. Um, humans used to be able to wiggle ears, but not anymore. So it's really interesting, like how it evolved from that. Uh, okay, get this. Um, bow constrictors used to have, they have skeletal remnants of a hip and hind leg bones. That's interesting. Bows have hips, or at least remains of hips. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oops. Did I smear my notes? I did not. Okay. Whales, I know about that. The pelvis, they also have a femur, apparently. Common ancestry. Common. Head. Structure. With. Still. And they generate mutations. Unless. Those mute. Mutes. Then it just put mute less a mutation on the radiation that were homologies. Okay, so that's embryos. I already kind of wrote that. A molecular. Look at that. That's a long section. I think they really want us to focus on um, molecular homologies. I can't remember if this is the class with section one to six or not. There's a no. That was that's. Let me see where I am at. Okay. Oh! We're gonna be... Oh wait, are we done? No, we're not. We have one more section, it looks like. Yeah, we haven't done the genome. And we haven't done... We have done selective breeding. We're just doing comparison of homologies. Um, we're on molecular now. Now, okay. Let me exit the glossary. Okay, so I'm just going to write down like a sentence again in developmental. Let's revisit it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Music here. Oh, spear pillar. I'm going to switch to another one because that one's kind of loud. Yeah, 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 I bet that. That's what happened, too. Oh, this one. Okay. Put this piece of notes aside for later so I can put in my binder when I look at it again. A molecular molecular studies similarities
Metabolic smooth. Um, they need ET, so that's like the ETP. Uh, what else? Oh wait, no. ATP, I'm sorry about that. They use that. ATP, and then breaking. Gaming. Okay, so more, more differences in it. Let's see. Okay, so less similar aminos. That makes sense because amigos become proteins. And these are basically um, what they are. Increased difference in amino acids. Earlier's organism the tree. Okay. Specific that for that section, and now I think we're on 2.3, yeah, 22.3, I'm sorry about that, uh, molecular processes, okay, so this is, this is the different part, I don't remember this, good, okay, so we, we are going, there's a line between drinking yep, it's Gen 4, but this YouTuber did a bunch of, um, jazz covers, and then they're amazing, Insane in the Rain. He did a bunch of jazz covers of Gen 4 and the other gens, I think, as well. They are beautiful to listen to. I love them. He's really good. Shout out to Insane... What's his name? Insane in the Rain. You make you make wonderful stuff, man. I love your music. It's so awesome. How, and he plays them all live, I think, too. Except for like the background um, looping and stuff like that. But... He, he plays him live. He plays the jazz music. He records himself playing all these instruments. He's playing like... There's a video. I think he's been playing like 10 instruments in that one video. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What did I say it's in the description? This is from Christmas, I think. This is like a Christmas special off a, um, a cover of one of the songs in the game.
Okay, so, um, similar but not identical, because different mutations. Okay, that's cool. So, similar. I think I wrote the same thing twice, oh well. Hi STC, how are you? Yeah, they have their own um, mutations afterwards once they diverged. Okay. Advantage. Stages, developmental stages, dev stages. Might not look like it, STZ, but I'm 18. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, there's a person playing a flute solo on this cover, this jazz cover song. Now he's playing saxophone, he's also playing piano, so he did like this split screen thing, and he's playing all these different instruments. Okay. 
Horizontal gene transfer, oh gosh. I don't remember this. Wait, did I just see a fly fly past it? There is a fly in here, I need to go and get it before it starts doing crazy things. So bacteria have these plasmids and they take them in and then they could code that protein from the DNA and then they could have a new function. So this is to chromosome, and then it's coded. So this is This is the, what are those called? We literally did a, what are those called? Oh my gosh. Uh, I know there's like a lactose thing. There's something, so... Operon. That's what it is. Operon. That's all I was trying to remember. Okay. Oh, you did see a hawk? Nice.
Yeah, this. Uh, yeah, you could use bacteria if the um, if they inherit something. It looks like a gene transfer. Um, gonna inherit. They're like basically gaining superpowers, extra powers, and abilities, stats. These bacteria. Um, you're using horizontal gene transfer. If they're beneficial for the survival of the bacteria species, is gonna take in that trait through the genes, like antibiotic resistance and then detoxification and um, ability to cause disease. These all could be helpful for bacteria. We did a lab where the bacteria are trying to culture a protein from the bacteria the gene. Yeah, that was just some interesting stuff. I remember. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, it was a gro it was a it was a growing plate. Right there, that was petri dish. Yeah, petri dish. And then they're trying to get this glow protein. They had like a compound, and then they're trying to figure out, oh, it's antibiotic resistant and all this stuff. So it's pretty cool. Turn on and turn off the operon if it's in the presence of a a food source and all that stuff. All that cool stuff. It was all virtual, so we actually didn't do it. It was the in-person kids who did it, but we still got to see it. Red shouldered hawk. Oh, cool. Pretty nice. We have the red-tailed hawks here, and I think I do not know if we have Harris hawk. We have red-tailed hawks here. Shouldered hawk. Those are interesting. Anyway, anyway. Evil and Gene on the other. So, Prozone, Number, So, banding patterns. Okay. Humans. Um, I'm going to get two, uh, two large. So that's a one. So that's a quantity versus groups. Which have. So humans have one large chromosome too, but two separate. separate, and this is why our uh, humans have that 23. That's cool. Fusion. Fusion. Zone. Uh, chrome zone. Chrome zone. Okay, so orangutan flip three and that it can't so breeding. Reasons to treat so that creates to another species too. Because it's Go isolating on. it from the other ones. And on. Right now at McDonald's, get any size frozen okay, drink for a dollar sixty nine. That's or all any size the soft drink for just a dollar. That's just an overview, so now I can go to the questions. So we got the first chapter of... Oh, that was just a random string that fell into my arm. I'm not sure, I think it's some color. Where is that string? Here it is. This just appeared on my arm. Came off of my shirt. <laughs> it's the same color, so... It's a Hulk shirt. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Okay, I finished that chapter. I finished my first chapter, my first um, textbook from college, and I think I'm ready to take the questions, which I'll be doing that. And yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for um, for all the support. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you for all the views and follows. We really appreciate all the support. Um, hope everyone's having a wonderful back to school. <laughs> Uh, type of week so far. Hope everything is going well. Everyone's staying safe. 
and staying cool because even though it's at the end of August, we're getting some scorchers out there. Actually, locally, it's going into the 90s still. There's a heat advisory yesterday. Um, my car gets to probably 100 degrees Fahrenheit because um, it's it's a really black car, and even if I have the the solar guard on it, it's still getting as hot as I don't know. You could probably cook an egg on the on the dashboard if you wanted to. Anywho, I have to go now and do the second part of the questions, and so yeah, thank you for joining again. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you for all of it. It's been, you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, anywho, I hope everyone has a wonderful night, day, morning, evening, whenever you're viewing this. Uh, it's night here, so I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of this uh, stream. I'm happy to be in college, and I'm liking it so far. And yeah, have a good day. Stay safe. Please do something nice for someone. Good night, guys. Thank you so much. Let me just exit out and shaboom. Oh wait, it didn't close me. Should be ending.